Okay then, 3 minus modulus of x is greater than or equal to the modulus of x minus 3. Let's have a quick sketch in this then to see what we've got here. So firstly the 3 minus modulus of x, take, take that as a function then. This has the value x, this constituent part here, when x is greater than or equal to 0. So you end up with 3 minus x. The 3 minus x line will look like this. And this is the value you've got. 3 minus x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And then if we look when x is negative, this value here will correspond to the function minus x when x is negative, isn't it, the modulus? Minus minus x is plus x, and we've got 3 plus x. Well, x plus 3 is intercept 3, gradient 1. And there's the line there for x negative. It's that half line there. So this corresponds to the line uh, x plus 3, as we said. OK, that's that part there then done. Greater than or equal to, now let's draw the other part then. And we've got the modulus of x minus 3. So this flips when x is 3, uh, which is where? Here? I think it is back there, because this is the line 3 minus x, so the same value is here. And this has the value, when x is bigger than 3, this has the value x minus 3. So that line is x minus 3. Same gradient as that, actually. So I should have really drawn that a bit steeper. So let's do that just quickly. So it's the same gradient, whoops, as the one on the left. And then, when x is less than 3, flip a minus through this, you get 3 minus x, and you get the same line here, same part line, and that line is there, is 3 minus x. So we now ask ourselves then, back to the question then, when is the uh, yellow line uh, above or equal to the grey line? Or you can see it's here. So here, we see that by inspection that these values are fine because this grey line which is no, the, the uh, yellow line which is this part here lies above or is equal to the grey line from this point to this point inclusive isn't it because it's greater than or equal to and the whole of this part line segment is covered so x can go up to and include 3, and it can go down to and include 0. And that's the solution set. So you could put 1 in, for example, here. You'd have 3 minus 1, which is 2. And you put 1 in here. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Modulus minus 2 is 2. Is 2 bigger than or equal to 2? Yes, it is. So 2 is included. That's just by way of illustration of one particular value.